What's going on guys, Andy here, and today is a different type of video. I will actually be upgrading the RAM, my late 2012 Mac Mini, which only has 4 gigs of RAM. I'll be upgrading it to 8 gigabytes of Crucial memory from Crucial. I actually ordered this from Amazon for only 50 bucks, which isn't bad because I was looking at 8 gigabyte RAM sticks at like Best Buy, and I think they wanted like 75 for it. So I was like, hey, 50 bucks, I can do that. So, first things first, here's the Mac Mini, and this will only work with the models that you can take off this back cover. This back cover right here pops off, and like the new, I want to say it's the 2014 Mac Minis and later, you can't do this. You actually have to upgrade your RAM through Apple, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to open this RAM. Alright guys, so here's the RAM. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Let it focus a little bit. This is a 4 gigabyte stick from Crucial. Now, this is, I want to say the 204 pin RAM. So, in case you're wondering what kind of get, make sure it's 204 pin. Alright, now that we have the RAM out of its packaging, let me show you how to take this back cover off. As you can see, there's that white dot, and it's connected right there to the black dot. What you want to do is you want to turn this to that clear open dot. And then all you got to do is kind of pop this off, just like that. It'll come off. So it might be a little bit dusty in here. So what you're going to want to do is maybe take a little canned air, spray it. That's what I did. All right, now basically what you want to do is there's these two metal prongs right here. Just push those over, and that'll pop up. And all you do is slide that out. So here's the old RAM. Oops. This is the old RAM. This is just a two gigabyte stick. Push that off to the side. And you do the same thing, that'll pop up. You just slide it right on out, like so. Here's the other two gigabyte stick. Then it's just pretty much the reverse process. So you start with the bottom. You just want to place it in, just like so. And then push it down, and it'll snap. So it's in there. Do that to the top one as well. You want to put it in at an angle, at a slight angle. Sometimes it's, it's a little tricky. There we go. And then you just push down. It snaps back in and you put the cover on which you want to line like I said you want to line this white dot up to the clear dot all right so we got the cover on now what you want to do is plug everything back in and make sure that it's working now the very last thing that you want to do just to make sure your RAM is actually working is you want to click this Apple icon in the top left hand corner right next to finder once you click on that you'll see about this Mac click on that and you'll get a system overview of what you're running. Like for example, it says I'm running 10.10.2 of Yosemite. Uh, it shows what kind of Mac Mini I have, which is the late 2012, my processor. But most importantly, it shows memory. And it shows I'm using eight gigabytes of 16 megahertz DDR3 RAM. And just to make sure both DINs are actually working, click on memory, which is the fourth tab over. And as you can see, it shows I'm running four gigabytes in each DIN. Now, a couple of things you do not want to do is just buy a single DIN of RAM. Like, don't buy just one eight gigabyte stick and be like, oh, cool. Well, I can just do that because it will actually make your system run not that great at all because it's designed to use both DINs of RAM and it can just mess up. You can possibly get error messages and stuff. Also, what I heard is you don't want to mix up the size of RAM that you're using. Like you don't want one four gigabyte stick and one two gigabyte stick. You want to use two of the same size of RAM. So two uh, four gigs, two eight gigs, or two two gigs of RAM. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below and I will definitely answer them for you to the best of my knowledge. And I do plan on actually upgrading my hard drive to an SSD. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also 
whole show. <laughs> I'll also be showing you guys how to use a data doubler kit, which is uh, you can have like two hard drives in your Mac Mini. So I'll be doing that as well in the same exact video, actually. So if you want to see that, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. This way you guys don't miss it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.